This is his level one. Okay, it's level one key blast. It's nothing to write home about. Okay, so it's the double ball key blast at level two. Once again, very average key blast for the level. Throw these up. Oh God, no! Are you serious, dude? This should be like his level one key blast. This is the same key blast he has at level three on his um raider transformation, and this is garbage, dude. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lee the Warlord. Back at it again with another Survivor Practice Showcase video. And in this one, we are looking at Broly Rage's Transphere. Um, at first, we're going to look at the key blast at each of the different levels, and then we are going to check the damage at each level for each of his supers. So, that's his transformation. This is his level one. Okay, his level one key blast. It's nothing to write home about. Um, Gogeta Blue definitely has a better one, but this is a very standard, very average level one key blast. The single ball base key blast. Um, so, let's see what his level two key blast is looking like. Hopefully, um, it gets better and not worse like Gogeta's. I don't know how much you could get worse than a single ball key blast. Okay, so it's the double ball key blast at level two. Once again, very average key blast for the level. Um, so this probably means his level three is the laser base key blast. Hopefully. Um, if that's the case, then he's not going to be too bad of a transfer to use. But let's see what his level three key blast has in store for us. Okay. Once again, nice transformation. Throw these up. Oh, God, no. Are you serious? Dude, this should be like his level one key blast. This is the same key blast he has at level three on his um, Raider transformation. And this is garbage, dude. Yeah, this is really, really bad. All right, that's unfortunate. So it's looking like he's only really useful at his level two. So let's get back in here and check the damage for his gigantic charge ability. I will be right back. Okay, so we are back and we are going to test the damage for gigantic charge. Um, got the level 1D change. Let's find Cell. All right. So I'm going to go over here, just stun him and um, hit him with the move and see how much damage it does. Okay. Nice. Okay, that's about... I want to say half a bar. Okay, so that's really good damage. I will say that's really good damage. For your level one super to do ha um, half a bar of damage, that is really good. Okay, and those single ball key blasts are, are all right. They're like, they're not going to counter any key blasts from the Raider. They do basic damage, but that is really good. Um, doing half a bar of damage with your super at level one. So let's go and see how much damage it does at level two. All right, we have our level two D change. Let's go ahead and find Cell. There you are, and transform. Yeah, and the transformation pose is all right too. Let's see how much damage we do at level two. Oop, stop my stun. There we go. All right, two thirds. That looks like about two thirds of damage. So level one, he does half a bar. Level two, he does two thirds of a, oh, good juke. Two thirds of a bar. Um, that's not bad. Gigantic charge, it's all right. I, I don't know if I'm having trouble using it, but it seems like the maneuverability on it is not that good. Um, and it, I don't think you can cancel out of it either, so. Um, let's go ahead and get our level three, check the damage, and then just check the mobility. So, like I said, it seems like at level one, you're doing about half a bar. Level two, you're doing two thirds. So, I wonder how much, uh, I wonder how much it, oop, interesting. I guess because he didn't get on his path fast enough. But yeah, I wonder how much it'll do at level three. So, let's check. Okay, just hit him with a nice little stun. Okay, all right, that is almost a full bar of damage so level one is one third um level two is half and that's like 
I don't know. That's that's a lot of damage, actually. That's a lot of damage at his level three. That's almost a full bar's damage. Just for a charge super that hits on one hit, like that is that that's pretty alright. Um Let's test that maneuver, but yeah, you can't really turn it. That's horrible. So it's like you can kind of turn it with the camera, but the left stick, it's not really doing anything. Yeah, and you can't vanish at the end of it either. That's bad. Okay, so this is just like directly worse than Bardock's charge super. All right, not too good. The damage on it is all right, but you can't really aim it and you can't teleport. So let's just go ahead and check the damage on his um, powered shell super attack. So we, we will be right back. All right, so we are checking the powered shell damage. We got the level one. So let's go and see how much damage we can do on set. All right coming towards me with the stun so about a third of a bar about a third of a bar um gigantic charge does a lot more damage at level one it does two thirds of a bar about mm, yeah so that's about a third of a bar um it's kind of slow too i don't know if you'll be able to land this raw to be completely honest all right well i guess that's a little bit over a third but we'll just say it's a third of damage at the level one so at level two it'll probably do half so let's see real quick there you are so okay yeah um i don't know it's it's all right that's definitely half yeah so a third um at level two it does half and then at level three it'll probably do two thirds but yeah, you're not landing that raw. Like, if it's just you and the raider, you're not landing that raw. Just throwing it out. Okay. Not bad damage on it, though. Not bad damage. The startup isn't crazy long, considering it's like a three-star super, I think. So, um, definitely a lot of better options out there, though. Okay. All right. So, let's see how much damage it does at his level three. All right. We got our level three. So, let's find Cell after he put this shield on. Okay. And we'll see how much damage it does. Actually, the key blasts. I'm coping, dude. The key blasts aren't good at level three, man. Okay, two thirds. So one third, half, and two thirds damage um, at each corresponding level for powered shell. Not bad, not bad, but uh, definitely not good. There's a lot of better supers that you could put on. Um, there's a lot of better transfers that you could put on. I think the key blasts are atrocious his level one key blast is nothing to write home about level two key blast is average but his level three key blast is that should have been the level one key blast that's ridiculous um honestly in my opinion brawly is looking like a bad transfer i would not be super duper pressed to pull him if i wasn't either a collector type or a content creator so if you don't have brawly you're not missing out um I mean, I guess this powered shell might have some sniping capabilities. Like, I think if the raider is on a track, like how he is here, you might be able to pick him off. But in a real world situation, um, I don't see that hitting very often unless the raider is like in the middle of a combo, stunned, or on the super time machine. So next week, we will get some... Sur oh, yeah, we definitely got the snipe. We'll get the Survivor game showcasing the transfers in um, action, but nothing to write home about. If you don't have them, you're not missing out on much. Um, it's been real. It's your boy, Lee, the Warlord. I'll see you guys at 8 p.m. with the stream. Peace.